In this video, I'm going to explain positive hydraulic displacement control, negative hydraulic displacement control, and develop a pump with negative hydraulic displacement control into an open centre load sensing system. In the simulation model, you can see that the variable pump features electronic control. This is for convenience only, and importantly for our purposes here, pump displacement and therefore output flow is controlled by a hydraulic pilot signal. As the state diagram shows, pump flow increases with increase in hydraulic pilot pressure and vice versa. This is known as positive hydraulic displacement control. Now let's consider negative hydraulic displacement control. Here the state diagram shows pump flow increases with decrease in hydraulic pilot pressure and vice versa. As already mentioned, this is negative hydraulic displacement control. With both positive and negative hydraulic displacement control, there are a number of ways the hydraulic pilot signal can be generated and controlled. These include a pressure reducing valve, a pressure relief valve, or a hydraulic joystick. But an open centre load sensing system uses another method to control the hydraulic pilot signal. Recall that in an open centre load sensing system, a variable pump is combined with an open centre directional control valve. Standby flow from the variable pump passes through the DCV's centre bypass gallery and at the end of the bypass gallery, there is a fixed orifice. When a spool is shifted, this has the effect of a variable orifice in the bypass gallery upstream of the fixed orifice. The addition of this variable orifice in series with the fixed orifice results in a decrease in pressure in the bypass gallery. And bypass gallery pressure is the pilot signal that controls pump displacement. As expected from negative hydraulic displacement control, pump flow increases as pilot pressure decreases and vice versa. Now let's look at the complete system that we know as open centre load sensing. Here we have the same variable pump with negative hydraulic displacement control connected to an open centre DCV. As explained in the previous arrangement, the pilot signal for control of pump displacement is generated by pump standby flow passing through the centre bypass gallery. A fixed orifice and a spool selected variable orifice.
As the state diagram shows, when a spool is shifted, pilot pressure generated by the bypass carry orifice arrangement decreases. And pump displacement, and therefore output flow, increases. So there you have it, the component parts of an open centre load sensing system, unpacked and reassembled.